this week at the University of Rhode Island. Long wait times for mail pickup in the Union has students frustrated. And Cumberland Farms closes its doors at the Emporium, but a new store opens. All of that and more on this week's 5 Cent Cigar Newscast. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Pace. And I'm Margot Gagnon. The Union Express mailroom has students frustrated with long wait times for mail pickup. I spoke with students and the Union Express staff discussing the new system they implemented this semester. Picking up a package should be as easy as swiping your card and picking up your mail. For most students, it's not that easy because they feel the wait in line is longer than it should be. Depending on the time of the day, but usually it's like 20 minutes. Sometimes lines are like so long they go out the door and around the corner, literally. And it's been 30 minutes now. 30 minutes they're still trying to find my package. I end up waiting for a really long time and only get one letter, so. There's a new system in place where students now not only pick up their packages, but also written letters. Students believe this new process is the reason behind the long lines and wait times. Giving a card in this section, then you go to some other section to pick up something else, and it's just too hectic, it's not necessary, and they need to figure something else out. Whatever they're coming up with is just worse, and the system's not working either way. We spoke to Dylan Bohiccio, assistant manager of the Union Express mail room, who believes the new system works efficiently. So I think right now we're going to just see where this takes us, and if we need to, we can change it. But right now I think we're good. Students tend to make trips to the mailroom after their classes, and according to mailroom staff, peak times are between 11 and 3 p.m. during the week. Bohiccio tries to make the pickup process as quick as possible. And if I lose a package, I try to get all the packages that I already have out as quick as I can, just to make sure everyone's not waiting, like cut down the time as much as I can. Bohiccio says that he and the rest of the mailroom staff will do their best to keep lines and the wait time short. In Kingston, Jessica Pace, 5 Cent Cigar News. Since August 27th, the Union Express received 12,418 packages. The staff says it takes usually three to four hours to organize and sort the mail in order to successfully get the packages to students. The University of Rhode Island's Campus Planning and Design Department is moving forward with their plans of building a new dorm. Construction for a new dorm, Brookside, will be starting next semester. Brookside will be an apartment-style residence hall for only upperclassmen. Brookside will be located on West Alumni Avenue in the place of where Dairy Barn Lot is currently located. The design of the new dorm will be similar to Hillside Hall. It is two complex buildings with a connector. The complex will accommodate 500 beds split evenly between the two buildings. Each apartment can house up to four students. Each apartment will contain a living room, kitchen, four single bedrooms, and multiple bathrooms. The dorms will be available to live in starting roughly in 2019. Cumberland Farms closed their doors for good at the Emporium, but a new Kingston Mart has opened across the street. Five Cent Cigars' Madeline Schulte has more. Cumberland Farms has officially been closed on the URI campus, and students are not very happy about it. To be honest, I was actually really upset finding out that Cumbies was closed. The other day I was leaving class and I only had 15 minutes, and I didn't have enough time to wait in bagels for a bagel or in Dunkin' Donuts, and Dunkin' Donuts had a really long line. Um, and I didn't even know it was closed. Students should no longer worry where to pick up a snack. Kingston Mart next to International Zone is open. And if I need to, I will. Probably I'll check it out to see what it's about. I think I'll try it out. Sounds like it has everything Cumbie said, so why not? If you're ever looking for an after-class snack or even a midday pick-me-up, Kingston Mart is your place to go. I'm Madeline Schulte with 5 Cent Cigar News. Although the building is vacant, a new Four Seasons Mart will take its place. And now a look at your sports. Following the team's first victory of the 2017 campaign, the URI football team traveled to Durham this past weekend to take on the 15th ranked University of New Hampshire. The Wildcats in front of a record-breaking home crowd came out on top 28-14. The Rams take on Brown this Saturday at 7 p.m. at Brown Stadium. This will have your tails wagging. This semester, the Puppy Raisers Club had an increase in the amount of service dogs on campus. The club works with an organization called Guiding Eyes for the Blind, a nonprofit organization that raises dogs to become future guide dogs for those who are visually impaired. Um, a service dog grants independence to someone who has some sort of deficit that 
sort of impedes that independence for them. So they really just open up someone's world to a whole new set of possibilities that they may not have thought was possible before that. There are five dogs this year on campus. The club is filled with dedicated URI students who are certified puppy raisers. Although it's anyone's first instinct to pet a dog, LeBlou says that dogs with vests should not be touched. She says it's very important to set the service dogs up for success and keep them focused. That's all we have for you this week. For more on these stories, you can find them on our website, roadiecigar.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Margot Gagnon. And I'm Jessica Pace. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful week, everyone.